So welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about CK Editor, one small step for content editor, one giant leap for Drupal. And don't forget, this is a content uh, editor track. So it means that today I'm going to cover things like content editing. Uh, to uh, some uh, progress on how the editing is going, some tools for content editors, uh, be it actually a knowledge or a specific module, or some library we can use. This session does not cover developer tools. There would be no tips on how to build your own plugin. We're not, go not going to cover a lot of technical information, and we're not going to cover premium features. However, there are sessions there which I'm going to give you a link to that do cover that in vast extent from the actual creators of CK Editor. Can everyone hear me okay? Excellent. So I'm Vladimir. I'm from Brisbane, Australia. I, uh, I'm a teacher. I teach IT. And also, I've been, for more than a decade, I've been a Drupal developer in various roles. So what are we going to cover today? We're going to cover what is CK Editor 5. Uh, I was surprised how little I knew what CK Editor 5 is, how it works. And what's actually in Drupal? Uh, apart from the modules, there is a thing called plugins and all that. So we're going to cover that. We're going to look a bit into content editing, depending on how we go. We might or might not jump to Drupal and see how it thinks. But I got all screenshotted for you, so that's good. And we're going to talk about the future. How are we going to go into the future, having CK Editor 5 in Drupal? So story time. Once upon a Drupal 7 time, there was a WYSIWYG module. Who used WYSIWYG module? Who knows how many, at its peak, how many WYSIWYG editors, uh, and let's word like editors, it supported? So that's the module, and it supported. Well, that's the list uh, without the one that crossed in the documentation. There is more. But how many WYSIWYG editors were there? And. Uh, yeah, uh, you actually had the choice. If you are using Drupal 7 on its prime, you had the ton of WYSIWYG editors to use, to choose. And if you go to the documentation as of May 2022, only two remain. I'm not going to go to cultural references. There's a line on the bottom, which I'm covering, which can tell you something. So one of them is tiny MC, and there would be a couple of references to Eurovision. So don't worry if you don't get it. So uh, TinyMC is built in Australia. It's uh, uh, open source. If you want to come in, there's plenty of seats here. Welcome. Uh, and uh, also, they make money on subscription model. So you kind of subscribe to their cloud. You might use premium features. They actually charge by number of editor loads and all that. But that's one quite a big player, uh, uh, tiny.cloud, the URL. And it has a very popular integration with WordPress. There's integration with Drupal. And they support a lot of custom application. If you go to the official documentation, they actually have official documentation to integrate with different sort of technologies, JavaScript, PHP, Rails, you name it. And there was a CK editor. And uh, CK editor can be found at ckeditor.com. And who knows where it's built? Which country? That's it. So uh, it's built by a company called CK Source, which is based in Poland. They have about 80 employees. So CK Editor is a word like editor. So if you use Microsoft Word or any version of uh, Cloud Office, that's exactly what we're talking when we say WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Uh, it's open source. The essential is open source. It's mature. Uh, it's very, very old. If we talk about, I actually haven't looked when the first version was out. But we're going to talk about version 5, which is already eight years old. Uh, and the good news for us, CK Editor is available in Drupal core and stable. There are also premium features, and then they, how they try to make money. Includes real-time collaboration with multiple people editing, tagging people, and there's a plethora of other premium features. Uh, so, CK Editor ecosystem is on GitHub, so you can go to the GitHub and uh, 
Yeah, you can go and uh, help them out, read the issues, help, we, uh, help to build the better editor. So uh, type of representation was here before. Uh, I, they said that it's used in type of three. I'm not sure which extent. Uh, it, it is in Drupal core. And the interesting bit about CK editor, which I didn't know, it's actually a decoupled, so it's a headless editor. Uh, Zendesk uses editor engine and they built their own editor on top of that, but they're using CK Editor 5 engine in the back as a headless editor. So uh, CK Editor 5, it's not the next version from CK Editor 4. Well, it is, but it's not. It's written from scratch. And the actually first commit was in 2015, so if we'll take uh, the timeline, it's eight years old, so it's quite mature. It took about two years to integrate it into core, so people can start using it. And as I mentioned before, it has a headless mode. So if we look at the moment, the versioning for the CK Editor 5, uh, current core uses version 35.4. But the good news is version 37, which is a major milestone for the CK Editor, uh, they converted it to a TypeScript. With this, it's coming and it's already in uh, 10.1 beta 1, which was out a couple of days ago. So you can actually go and test it out. So what's the difference between CK Editor 4 and CK Editor 5? Uh, modern ar architecture, they completely re-architected the model for the things they wanted to use, including the premium features. So they actually created own data model rather than relying on HTML data model. It's mobile friendly, CK Editor 4 wasn't. And there were a lot of massive table improvements which we're gonna cover when we go to a specific plugin. So security, uh, they said they have about 20,000 tests. I didn't count them, but I do believe them. And the interesting news is because they actually allow you for premium features to uh, be installed on premises, they're actually looking in a year or two to get uh, security certifications. So let's talk about architecture. So what is CK Editor? CK Editor 5, they call it, it's an ecosystem. So ecosystem uh, includes a bunch of core plugins. So this is a core plugins for CK Editor ecosystem. Something like a table that you can manipulate the table or auto format. Uh, and there's a bunch of plugins that sit in the core of CK Editor 5. Not all of them made it to Drupal. And then, then there are other plugins. For example, there are a couple of plugins written for Drupal inside Drupal. There are plugins that sit on a GitHub. And then there is Drupal Core. So Drupal Core has CK Editor 5 modules. Only a number of plugins, for example, Table Plugin made it a while back in 9.4. Uh, auto Formatting Plugin uh, are gonna be available from 10.1. Uh, then there are modules like Media that uses their own uh, plugin to integrate with CK Editor 5. And then we have plugins that never made it, although they're in core of CK Editor. For example, CK Editor font uh, and color. Actually, I'm gonna talk about color, but font and size module is actually a separate module. Uh, and then there are modules that do not use CK Editor official plugins at all. They build their own. And a few examples we're gonna look at at CK Accordion and CK Bootstrap columns. Now, anyone has a question about the architecture? Great. So what's CK Editor at Drupal? As I mentioned before, it took about two plus years of work to, uh, to get where we are at the moment. Uh, it was experimental, Drupal 9 as a 9.4, it became stable, 9.5, stable 9.5, and it became stable at 10. So now if you go to Drupal, you can see the CK Editor 5 sits there right in the core modules, and CK Editor 4 you can install as a contrib module, and it also labeled deprecated. So you can still use it, but not for long, because I think officially the security coverage is uh, stopped. So it says quarter, quarter two, so we get a month or so. And Drupal community uh, pledged to support the security for CK4 until the end of this year. So you can still use it, but you don't have a lot of time. And uh, upgrade path is quite simple. So you go to your Drupal uh, text formats, and what I would recommend, so a couple of tips from someone who upgraded a couple of uh, websites, is that uh, create a new text format. 
Don't go to existing text format and bump it up to CK Editor 5. First of all, you're going to lose what you already have. Second, uh, it's just good to compare and convert uh, and see how it works. Not necessarily your data would be converting nicely from CK Editor 4 to CK Editor 5. Same thing, uh, there are a couple of bugs when you go and switch uh, CK Editor 4, CK Editor 5 in text formats. Uh, you might get an error because of styles are not populated and things like that. So there are still few issues to be ironed out. That's why I recommend to actually uh, uh, go and create a new format and then compare them. Uh, another big thing is allowed tags are hard coded unless you're using the full HTML format. Uh, you actually uh, won't be able to go and put specific tag in. Say, I want iframe, you can't do it, you need a plugin to do that. So this is how CK Editor 4 look for admins. And this is how toolbar used to look. It still looks like that, CK Editor 4. And this is CK Editor 5. I'm not sure it's a big deal, it's a big screen, but you can see the, the, the buttons itself, once you change it for the first time, you'll see they're more tab friendly. They're actually quite nice and design is very good. But apart from that, you can see there are fewer buttons there as well. This one actually with a few enabled plugins. And that's because it's a work in progress. So we cannot just go and pour the whole thing. That's why a lot of people are waiting for specific features for CK4 to actually, uh, CK5 to migrate. And we're gonna look at what's actually there. And editor experience is uh, important. So when you're editor, I think you need to know what's available for you before you start jumping from technology to technology, uh, which plugins actually made it. Uh, we're gonna look at uh, contrib modules as well, and we're gonna look at the modules that are actually using core CK5 functionality as opposed to building their own or uh, trying to kind of integrate both. So what's actually in a Drupal core? If you go to the assets, uh, CK5, you can see all of them there. And they're all available in, uh, yeah, that's all available in GitHub. So we're just gonna go quickly and see what's there so we know what's actually in CK4. So Essentials plugin covers things like clipboard, enter, select, shift enter, type in and undo things. Things that we thought were actually, you know, were given for free, they're all there. Now it's a plugin. Again, they're using their own data model, so they actually have to define it. Then it gets uh, more interesting, so HTML support. Obviously, it is a HTML editor after all. So there is HTML support supporting your HTML structure. Now, basic styles. So bold, italic, underscore, cross. That's all uh, also superscript and subscript. That's all considered a basic styles. So we all use them. Alignment, also pretty simple. Left, right, center, and fill in the gaps. Uh, block quote, so if you want to quote something, you can see this nice and gray line. Uh, you can go select particular text, click a block quote, and it's there, available as a separate plugin. Uh, code block, so if you are writing blocks, technical blocks, I want to highlight specific code. Uh, there are preset languages, like you can see here, C Sharp, CSS, you can use diff for Git, so you can actually create a code block and select what type of code is available there. Heading, uh, I didn't update the uh, screenshot here. So heading obviously is uh, header one, header two, up to header six, available where the paragraph is. Horizontal line, again, simple, nice and great, horizontal line in between your code. Uh, then there is image, so upload image and insert image with a number of options, like there's alt text on the bottom, there is also uh, aligning it to the left and right and depending on your context, like sitting on the same line or mixing with the text. Uh, identation, so getting your co uh, block of text identified to the right, if it's uh, left to right or to the left. Language, so we can have, uh, there is support from left to right and right to left. We can actually specify with a drop down which particular language. We're using this is available in the core as well. 
So again, nice support for other languages that use uh, right to left notation there. Okay, so link, simple link. So as you can see, there is not many parameters there. So you can just insert the link by selecting the text. List, numbered list and numbered list. Pretty simple, you can see the examples there. Paste from office or as uh, they call it paste from Word as well. So just uh, processing a lot of Word stuff, uh, cleaning it up. That's a specific plugin used for that and it's available in core. Removing format, so if you have very heavily formatted text that you want to make uh, unformatted, there is a button for that. Source editing. So we covered the HTML support, now there is source editing. So source editing is quite interesting. If you play with a demo on the CK Editor website, it's nice and neat and sits in one window, but be careful if you're doing it in Drupal core. Uh, I'm editing the timetables for the Drupal South, and that's not it. That's probably like a third of it. So think about using paragraphs and multi-field in, in, in case you do a lot of HTML edit editing, this is my advice, but by default it actually goes, once you click source editing, it goes full height of the source. Uh, special characters, if you wanna put some pounds on your website. Style. Now, style, uh, if you use CK85, a lot of people have a love and hate relationship with the styles. It's actually quite good because what it, I find, uh, like our clients love it because you can actually create a bunch of styles based on a design and give it to them in a drop down and they can see it. Now, it's an excellent idea, right? If you're a bootstrap user, uh, like things like pills, or now they called, I forgot what they called, like, what was that? Badges, yes. Pills, badges, you can actually put all styles there, allow them, and uh, yeah, you, you, and all you can do in the configuration screen, you just go and say, here's the name of the style, here's what it does, it's a div tag with a thing. It can't do a very complex thing, but something like div tab, div tag with styles, it can do span tag as well. So you can actually can do a lot with that. But as I said, great visual tool. So, but there are a few issues. First issue, obviously we all know that from paragraphs. Well, I know that from paragraphs that once clients see something, they want more of it and more of it and more of it. And you end up with 40 types of paragraphs, same with style. So be careful of that. Eventually it goes there. Then there is a, uh, set up, uh, as I mentioned before, when you're migrating from CK Editor 4 to CK Editor 5, there are a couple of issues that are not ironed yet. You might get in trouble and won't be able to save your changes. So if you're doing it for the first time, s change to CK Editor 5, save your changes first, then muck around with styles. There, is, there are some issues with styles. I also recently, a couple of days ago, I saw the issue with disabled styles. For example, if one user role doesn't have access to all the tags and only number of plugins, they would still see the styles, they would be disabled, so they would see this array of disabled tags they won't be able to click on. There is an issue for that as well. So come to the code sprint if you wanna work on something like that. But yeah, be careful with styles, they're a great tool. And like here's a good example we built for the client, the buttons, they just go select the text, create a button, you know, uh, have it all in their drop-down style. They're happy, they have the four colors, five, they like, and yeah, here you go. They don't need to know HTML. Table. So table is considered one of the major improvements from CK Editor 4 to CK Editor 5. The first biggest change is no more models. Models made it hard to do, now it has very nice and easy interface. Very similar to Google Docs. Uh, I'm not sure about Word, I haven't created a table in the Word, but you've probably seen this interface before. Uh, yeah, row and column selection. So if you see CK85, you couldn't select single row. If you knew that, I didn't. I went to test it. And now you can, you can select and apply different styles to just one row, part of the row, multiple cells. Uh, and then there is also other things like you can convert into the header columns. Uh, you can make a raw header raw, you can delete the raw, insert the raw, you can merge things. 
you can add the extra information on top and the bottom of the table. So tables are quite large. So again, list is quite big. And we went through most of them. There is only a couple that sits um, like an engine uh, extensions. But we pretty much, that's what's in the core as of now. 9.1 is coming out in a couple of weeks. And we're going to have a couple more things here. But I once also wanted to mention media. Media doesn't use the core CK35 plugin, but it allows you to insert Drupal media, be it a document, an image, a video, a remote video. So you have a media button there. And uh, you have a media selector thing. Uh, from admin perspective, it's quite easy. You can allow or disallow admins to uh, select the display mode, if you have multiple display mode for the media. And you can even say which one you allow or disallow from admin perspective. So the user can, for example, say, I want this media displayed as a thumbnail, and I want this media displayed as a wide image. Uh, now let's go talk about contrib modules. So there is uh, quite a few modules available. Some of them work, some of them do not work. I tested everything here that I uh, gonna present about, and actually move one module to work to be done, although it claims they have CK Editor 5 support. So make sure you test the module first. Most of the module also needed some sort of a patch because it's Drupal 10 or because they actually there is something that crashes. So yeah, when you test a new module for CK Editor 5, just test it thoroughly first before showcasing it. So today we're gonna cover four modules. Font color, which I mentioned before is a plugin. Find and replace, another core plugin that didn't make to the core, Drupal core. Uh, Bootstrap Grid and CK Editor Accordion. Things that you can do with CK Editor, they kind of take CK Editor to the realm of the Gutenberg Editor. Uh, but also with that power, you need to know what you're doing. So font uh, color, pretty simple. You select the color for your text and the color for your highlight. Uh, there is a, yep. So there is a CK Editor 4 ply, uh, module and there is CK Editor 5 module. It looks pretty simple. So you can see two colors and you can do different things, including, uh, yeah, just uh, get your content up there so everyone can notice. Everyone loves colors. There you go. Oh, find and replace. Uh, find and replace, again, uh, core plugin for CK Editor, finding things and replacing things. I've seen quite a few clients use it for CK Editor 4. Uh, now you can use it with a module. Again, CK Editor 5, if you go CK Editor 5 and replace, Google gonna give you CK Editor 4 version. Uh, so make sure you look for CK Editor 5. It's a separate module altogether. So the links are all going to be provided in my presentation. So you can actually find it. It's not, I found it's not easy to find the, especially when, you know, CK Editor font was around for quite a while and CK Editor 5 font just, or oh, find and replace just appeared. Google doesn't always give you the results, so be careful. And again, this is me testing it in Drupal on my content. Looks pretty good. Okay, so CK Editor Bootstrap Grid. This is a quite a complex module. It requires from content editor the knowledge of grids, how they work, and a mobile design and different breakpoints. So if your content editor is quite savvy or they don't mind to learn, this is a great module. Great from my perspective because I actually know how those tables work. It requires quite a bit of configuration, but this is what users see. So when they go to CK Editor and say, add me a column, you can actually have one to 12 column layout. You can filter them out uh, from admin perspective and give them only one, two, three, four columns. Don't give them 12. I'm not sure why they would want that unless they build in tables, uh, but they might. And uh, then you choose the layout. Again, this is all configurable and you can go to each specific breakpoint. And you know, Bootstrap has a really good breakpoints for different devices. And you can actually specify different things, including how do you want columns be displayed, including do you want add extra classes. And then you'll get this nice thing. I actually forget to mention one thing. This yellow um, 
enter signs, they're great because how many people put the table in the CK04 and then couldn't put the enter in? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it does. It actually puts the new line after the element, especially complex element, and they're great. Great time savers. Uh, yeah, so this is an administrator view. Again, as I said, you can filter them. You can filter allow breakpoints. And you can go, like, in the configuration screen, I tried to take a screenshot of partially open, and I just didn't bother because uh, extra small has only three lines, but you can see I didn't even open available column layouts. And it just goes into this spider web. So you need to spend some time to configure it. But once you configure it, and once your content editor knows Bootstrap, that's going to be a massive time saver, considering you're dealing with a lot of layouts. And uh, uh, one last country, uh, module for fun, it's uh, accordion. Again, we all love accordions. Uh, uh, same thing, when you insert the accordion, enable the module, insert the accordion, it's pretty simple. You have a raw uh, uh, title and raw content, and you can insert the raw below and above. And that's how it looks. So the configuration is pretty simple. Uh, and yeah, admin can uh, configure that. One thing I found interesting yesterday that I actually was able to type an accordion in a plain HTML thing. I was late at night and I didn't bother. I said, no, I'm not gonna even look at it. But there was some like extra thing that I didn't expect. Maybe it was just too late. Okay, uh, let's talk about the future. So in the last couple of minutes, let's cover what's actually uh, in the future. So as of now, we have Drupal CK, uh, we have CK Data 5 in the core, we have a bunch of contrib module, and I only show you a few things. And, but there are a couple of new features coming in, as I mentioned before, Drupal 10.1 a few weeks away, there is already beta available for you to test. So first thing that comes in, it's auto formatting. So what auto formatting is the ability to enter the content without using the buttons. So it's a mix of MD editor. So you can put star, 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 and that would make font look bold. You can do the same thing for tables, for lists, for everything. Uh, the only issue I read through the whole thing uh, is was no one knew if it's accessible or not. And in the end it was kind of, I think the consensus was, yeah, it's accessible enough so we can check it in into the core. So that's coming in 10.1. Uh, and also extended code block support. There is plenty of features available in CK Editor plugin and doesn't mean they all available uh, in uh, core or in the module. And one of the example was code plugin. Remember I showed you the drop down, you can select the specific language, the programming language. Well, you weren't able to add the new one. Now you can. So now, so thanks everyone who contributed it. Actually, the first screenshot I did was uh, uh, ready to be released and I redid the screenshot last night and it was fixed. So it's coming in Drupal 10.1. So thanks everyone who contributed to that or to pretty much any module. And uh, I think that's a wrong screenshot. But now you can go to admin mode and uh, set the, uh, new language and what sort of format you want it to be, right? So you can select Drupal and put it as PHP. There is a warning in Drupal 10.1 release notes is that if you use code block in your profiles or modules, make sure you go and update because the configuration changed quite significantly. Oh, here you go. Here's a screenshot. So you can go and say, here's a format and here's what it's called. So that's when you configure in plugin for CK Editor 5. So uh, if you listen to the podcast I put in the end, the creators say it's all about long-term co collaboration. So they said actually the Drupal community were great to them because they collaborated throughout the last, you know, number of years, whereas a lot of JavaScript frameworks, they're very quick. They jump in, they do what they need, and they get out because the project is complete. So they actually said we benefited a lot. I think it's a, a great uh, example of how we can collaborate with other plugins. Uh, roadmap, as they say, it's community-driven. Again, another reminder that CK4 end of life 
end of this year. And exciting thing to be, uh, I think security certification would be awesome to have for the obviously proprietary or for the commercial license. Um, that's a reminder for CK Editor 4. So you can help as well. There is a code spread coming in. So come along, help test issues, help go through issue queues. Uh, I'm developing the developer version of the talk for Vienna this year as well. So that's going to be all about developing, nothing about content editing. So that would be, the talk would be a base or kind of version one of the talk. So tomorrow we're going to look at a few things. Anchor link. A lot of people ask for anchor link. There, and there are issues there. Link it, which I wanted to put in first. And they say the support is in, but I couldn't see the button for link it. Uh, there, maybe there is something I just missed. But again, that's what we're going to work at the code sprint on Friday. Uh, the details are on the website where code sprint is. If you didn't register, you might need to register. So check the website and talk to the organizers. A couple of references. There is a great podcast, and it's also available on YouTube. Uh, talking Drupal about CK Editor with owners, uh, not creators of CK Editor. And there is uh, also Prague 2022 talk, which is, uh, talks more about premium features and actually CK Editor from the creators of the CK Editor. So thank you very much. Thanks for coming. And do we have any questions? Yep. So uh, the question was, uh, when we created the new format for CK Data 5, did we have to migrate the content? So uh, first thing when we actually get the CK Data 5, first, first thing we did, we just converted the format straight away and then got some nasties in, but majority was fine. But yeah, now the process is to create a new uh, format, uh, text format, uh, test a few pages that you think might be tricky, and then just run the, up, the upgrade script that upgrades the um, CK Editor format for the whole website. That's, that's the process we're running at the moment, considering that those websites don't have more than three or 4,000 nodes. Pretty much. Uh, I mean, unless you're doing it all in production. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I found some clients are really happy to jump on it. Some clients say, oh, we need time to transition. So it depends. Uh, I do now use it for testing purposes because I had a, a lot of experience with it. Uh, but I do like to give it to the client when it's thoroughly tested. And again, depending on what sort of um, initial content you're dealing with, sometimes it actually improves just by switching the format and sometimes it's not. So yeah, you just need to know your, your content as well. Uh, there are a couple of tools that can help you say how many tables you have, you know, like the stuff that can give you grief or some complex divs that, that are linked to JavaScript and all this stuff. But it, it, if the content is plain, I didn't see a lot of like troubles to actually convert. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Cool.